In the last year, like so many people, I've been working from home a lot. And I quickly found that I needed a little bit more screen real estate to do what I do, which is training. I mainly work from my Surface Studio, which has a beautiful 28 inch 5K touchscreen display. But sharing my 5K display with people attending my training on mobile devices wasn't working very well. There's just too many pixels to deal with. So I decided that I needed a small display to work alongside of my Surface Studio that I could share from. So on my main Surface Studio display, I'd have my Teams call and chat window, and on the other display, I'd have the thing that I was showing people. So I went and got a small mobile display that plugs directly into my computer and powers itself from USB-C. This ASUS display is a 13 inch high definition screen and it was great, but I don't know about you, but to me, everything these days is a touchscreen. My 13 inch Asus display was not a touchscreen and I found that incredibly limiting. If I was sharing a page with my audience and I wanted to zoom in or get a little detail or pan across, I go to reach out and touch the content and it just wouldn't respond. So I'd be stuck trying to pan and zoom out with my mouse and it was just too hard. So I went looking for some USB-C portable displays that had touch input. At around the same time, one of my suppliers here in Australia approached us with a new brand that they picked up called Espresso. I hadn't heard of this brand before, so I went and did a little research and I was super impressed by what I found. Espresso have two beautifully thin USB-C touchscreen displays, a 13 and a 15 inch option. I was lucky enough to catch up with one of the founders of this company on a conference call and they agreed to loan me a device to make this video. The device landed on my desk from Amazon. We'll leave an affiliate link to that product in the description below. The box looks beautiful, nice and compact, just like the display. And you can immediately see that they've put a lot of thought and effort into the design. It's very thin, 5.5 millimeters. The chin is a little bit reminiscent of an iMac. And you can see a strong Apple influence on this brand and with the minimalist packaging. In the box, you'll find all of the cables that you need. From any current model surface, I can simply plug the USB-C cable into the USB-C port on the surface, and then directly into the USB-C port in the middle here on the display. There are three ports. The first is for USB-C power input. This actually allows you to pass PD charging through the display. Not really needed for the Surface Studio, but it could be handy for a Surface Laptop, Go, Book, or Pro. You could put your USB-C PD charger into this first port, then run the second port to your device and you could charge your Surface while you're using the display. Not essential since the Surface has its own proprietary charger too, but for anyone who only wants to carry one charger, this would be really handy since there's only one USB-C port on the surfaces. The third port is a mini HDMI. In my case, the single USB-C cable sends the monitor signal as well as power and the touchscreen interface through. If you don't have a USB-C port, then you have to use the mini HDMI to HDMI port to connect your device. However, if you're using this port and you wanna use the touchscreen as well, you need the USB-C to USB-A cable, connect that into one of the USB-A ports to drive the touchscreen. This Espresso display immediately changed the game for me since I now had two touchscreens on my desk. It's a very natural and direct way to work with content on your computer, especially for panning, zooming, and scrolling. But what really sets the Espresso apart are the accessories on offer. There is a very Surface-like flip case and the almost studio-like Mount Go. And then on top of that, there is a Visa mount option called the Mount Pro, so you can mount this on a display arm. Basically, this one cleverly magnets to the back of the display, so you can just grab the display and throw it into your bag when you need to. I have to send this unit back after this video, and Espresso did not pay us to make this but I'll be ordering my own 15 inch model alongside of the flip case, which doubles as a screen protector when it's in transit. I'll also grab the mount go option for using on my desk. I really like the idea of having this slightly elevated so that I don't have to look down so far. One of the key reasons that I got a USB-C display in the first place is that I don't necessarily want a second monitor on my desk all of the time. They take up a lot of space. They can be distracting and they're often not great ergonomically, but they are hugely useful for multitasking especially in this age of the video conference. So if you find yourself working from a small workspace, then having a small portable display like the Espresso is a brilliant idea. And in this age of the video conference, do you really need to be in the office or at home all of the time? I found myself late last year on the side of a mountain in remote Victoria, running a training session for one of my customers. Under the shade of a gum tree, I had my Surface LTE and USB-C display on a camping table while I delivered a training session with my Akubra hat on. So Australian. The point is, if you're a mobile worker, then this is a second display that slots right into your laptop bag, ready to use it whenever you have the space. 
And with that flip case, you can protect your screen and use it as a stand when it's in use. So that's the Espresso USB-C portable touchscreen display. Check it out using the links below. It's an absolutely brilliant companion for a mobile device like my Surface Pro. And we've had hundreds of thousands of views on our videos about how to connect displays over the last year. We'll leave some links to those below. But over the next couple of months, we'll release a new series going into every single display scenario that we can imagine right here on the channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you know about it as soon as the videos drop. This brand and on the minimum, 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 yeah, that's going in the bloopers. While I delivered a training session for one of my customers with the, that's I've said customers twice, damn it, so close.